Hello, guitar heads and shredders alike. It's me, Yanni from Sonata Arctica, hanging out with you guys from Young Guitar. I hope you all really enjoy this special DVD release, and I hope you all stay in tune and probably also stay in tune.
Okay, I started playing guitar when I was about 12 years old, when Guns N' Roses and Metallica were huge and I was widely inspired by them. Then at some point, when I was about 14 years old, I discovered Ingvi Malmsteen, which got me in, into really practicing. And that was heavy time for practicing for me, uh, from f 14 years to, I think, to 18 years, I was practicing really heavily and influenced by all the shredders, really like Ingvi and Paul Gilbert, uh, who else, Tony McAlpin and Greg Hub and all the really fast technical players. Nowadays, uh, well, sadly, I don't have that much time to practice anymore since I have a working band and it takes up a lot of my time and also writing songs for other projects and recording takes a lot of time. But I try to practice still and recently some players that have really caught my ear, well, of course, for several years now, John Petrucci from Dream Theater has been a huge influence for me. He has a very distinctive style, which I like. And of course, everyone mentions Steve Vai, and I still like Paul Gilbert, Gilbert and Ingvi very much. And a word of advice for all you players there, no matter young or old. Practice with a metronome, for instance. It really helps with your timing. I, rather sadly, I got to that point fairly late on my career, so it could have been more helpful if I had started on with it when I was really starting to practice. And another word of advice, which is really helpful, especially if you play with a band and you do live shows, that you record your own playing, you record the shows, and no matter how painful it is, listen to them, because they really reveal all your flaws and all your mistakes, and you can really learn a lot of listening to your own mistakes and learn how to avoid them. Thank you. 
Hey, it's really always hard to look back at your own work, but here it is. It's the first album I ever played guitar to. It's the first Sonata Oxica album ever, Ecliptica. It was done, I think, in 98-99. And it was, of course, for the whole band and for me, it was a great outlet to just get a record out and make a record. But, of course, back then we didn't really knew that much about recording. So, and of course also we didn't have that big budget for this record so most of the demo tracks we had from our previous sessions of the demo that got us the recording deal anyway were used on this album so playing wise there might be some flaws but still it's the first album of a very young band and that's an excuse <laughs> okay move on to silence our second album after Ecliptica we got to tour with Stradivarius and various other bands and do a lot of live shows which really helped the band to grow and I think it's really, you can hear it on this album, it's much more mature and much better produced everything is basically better there and by far I still have very warm feelings of this album because that was done with a lot of love and we put a lot of effort on this album, we knew that it was going to be important and we, we really worked on this album and 
of course this album got us to Japan for the first time and got us basically around the world so I have really warm feelings about this album and then last but not least the new one this one I think I'm way too close still to really review but uh, I think this again shows the growth of the band really we got to tour with silence and do all the stuff that we had never even dreamed of doing and I think you can really hear it on this album but then again this album was very hard to make since we kind of over toured we had very little time to prepare for the recordings so it was a bit rushed but I think it's still a great album and one of the funny parts or not funny but fun parts of making this album was, was that I could make some of my guitar tracks at home which really helps there's no schedule of studio so you can if you feel like you want to play a solo in 2 a.m. you can and that's really fun and now we're touring with this album and let's see where it's taking us
Okay, this is my main axe, made in Ibanez Custom Shop in LA. I got it just before last Christmas actually, which was a nice Christmas present for me. It's uh, the basic stock RG shape, with a mahogany body and maple top, here, and low pro edge, for each, fairly basic. Then the pickups, Steve Special and Air Norton DiMaggio pickups attached straight to the body. There's nothing holding them. They are straight in the wood so you get more sustain and resonance. Then the actual fretboard is made of ebony so and with scalloped four last frets and the you can also notice the fancy logo here <laughs> which was a nice addition. And live on amplifier section, I've been using live basically nowadays a uh, rack system which contains Marshall JMP1 preamp, uh, G TC Electronics G Force multi effects, a bearing uh, denoiser for guitar, and a uh, Marshall power amp. I think it was 9200 model. And using that with two 4x12 stereo cabinets.